Okay, Cody. Video captured from a mother and daughter traveling from Lufkin to Houston for a gymnastics meet on Highway 59. Not best scenario, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Amy Parbs and her family own about 80 acres near Lovekin and have many horses of their own. The horse did not look spooked. He did. He looked healthy. He actually he looked like he was enjoying the wind blowing in his in his mane. Yeah, you know, the only thing that I wish maybe differently was have the eye the eye covers on. Another driver captured a still picture near Corrigan and claims the truck was going about 70 miles per hour. Corrigan police say the man wasn't doing anything illegal in the transportation of the horse. That surprises many. About 60 miles away at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, some exhibitors and their families have an issue with that. I wouldn't do that with my dog. Um, put it in the back of a truck on a highway with the bed down like that, let alone a horse. It's unsafe. It's unsafe because you don't know what the horse is going to do. You know, it, it, that's the thing. And he's so big over the sides. Ivy Bailey shows her horse tequila and can't imagine anything like it. They shouldn't transport the horse unless they like sign something saying they wouldn't ever do that again. Police say the driver was on his way to work at the stockyards. He claimed his truck that can pull the trailer wouldn't start, so he did this as an alternative. A move that makes some angry while others are understanding. No, I don't know the gentleman. That, that was driving the truck and he, you know, that may have been his only way to transport a horse that he just picked up. 